For today's recipe, you will need dried parsley flakes, onion powder, garlic powder, chicken tomato bouillon, a whole chicken, rice, and an onion. This one is from my garden. Hey foodies, welcome to Foodie Friday. Today is just so hot that I said, okay, I'm just gonna use my crock pot. <laughs> So, welcome to my channel, Saving Greens Homestead. My name is Keisha. Today, I am making chicken and rice. Something really simple, easy, and it's not gonna heat up my whole house. We're in the high 90s today, so I figured it'd be nice to just set something and forget it. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, you guys, I am gonna start by adding some seasoning to this. So first I'm gonna add some tomato bouillon with chicken flavoring. And then I'm gonna add in some onion powder. And then I'm gonna add in some garlic powder. And then I'm just gonna add in a little bit of water, probably about a cup worth of water to this, and I'm gonna turn it on to high, and I'm gonna let it cook um, until it's done. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do next uh, when I add the rice and everything else. So I'll be back when this is ready. Okay, you guys, so this is what we have. The chicken looks good. It's pretty much ready to fall off the bone. So I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna add in. Now I'm looking at the juice that's in here cause you know, I don't measure anything. So <laughs> I'm looking at the juice that's in here and I'm just trying to figure out like after I add my rice. So I'm gonna add my rice. I took note of how much juice is in there. I'm gonna add my rice around. And then I'm gonna add my onions. And then I'm gonna add in about three cups of water, hot water, of course. I'm not gonna put cold water. I'm putting boiling water in here. I'm just trying to get the most of this rice uh, down into the juice so that it can cook and I am gonna add just a little bit more seasonings to this because now I'm adding in water and I'm adding in rice. So I just wanna make sure that I have enough seasoning. <laughs> you guys, at this point you can add more seasoning if you want to or you can just leave it as is but I want mine to have a little bit more seasoning so my rice will have more flavor. It's already going to have really good flavor because of the chicken juice that's in here, but I want it to have really, really good flavor, so. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm just going to put this lid back on here and I'm going to let this cook until the rice is done or I guess that'll be about anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes more. So I will be back to show you what it's gonna look like when it's done. And I'm also adding in my parsley, my dried parsley, mostly for looks more than anything else, but it does taste good. It does add some flavor to it. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Oh, hot. <laughs> I'm trying not to get my screen all fogged up. But you guys, I just wanted you to see that this rice, though, is fluffy. Turned out real fluffy and good. Everything turned out really good. So this is ready. 
so I guess I'm gonna taste this and see how how it tastes and well you guys know what time it is it is time to plate it up so I will be back after I put a little of this rice and maybe even some meat on a plate I'll be back Okay, you guys, so I am going to taste this for you. Mmm, yes. That's good. As you can see, the rice is pretty fluffy. The rice turned out really good. It has a lot of flavor from the juices from the chicken. And the seasoning on it is pretty good too. Not overdone. Mm. That's good. I'm gonna take a little piece of this meat with it. Mm. Yeah, that is really good, you guys. The trick is trying to get the water ratio down so for white rice whenever you use a pound of rice that's two cups of rice then you use four cups water and so i just had to eyeball how much liquid was already in there and guesstimate <laughs> and then add some liquid so i just added I added a, a cup of water when I first started the chicken and then I added three more cups of water when I put in the rice. So anyways, you guys, this is what I am feeding my family tonight. It was not so quick, but it was very easy. Just put it in there and forgot about it for a few hours and went on about my business in the garden and doing stuff around the house. And then when it came time, I had added the chopped onions and the rice a little more liquid a little bit more seasoning and let it go again for another 30 45 minutes and this is it right here very easy meal so thank you guys for watching if you decide to try this uh, let me know how it turns out for you yeah you know, every time I've pretty much got it down to a science because I make this pretty often. So I've gotten pretty good at it. So even if you don't succeed or do great the first time uh, with the liquid and everything, just keep trying, you'll get it down. But let me know if you do try and how it turns out. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. And I will see you next Friday for another exciting episode of Foodie Friday. So as always, God bless.